everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I am bringing you all an October favourite. If some of you guys are probably thinking of another favourite video, like the so boring, trust me, this favourite video is going to be the best one that you guys have seen. I'm trusting you. Because I do have a lot of things that I have been loving this year and I also love October because it is my birthday month. I am turning 20 on the 31st of October, Halloween, I know, spooky birthday. I actually hate celebrating Halloween because people always come to your door and try to knock at your door and you will never answer the door because it's my birthday. I don't I want to be disrupted on my birthday, you know what I mean? Anyway, enough about me ranting about Halloween and my birthday. Yes, so this month I have been trying out so many new amazing things that I am excited to share with you all. There's some things I have loved for ages now and there's some things I've recently tried out so I am looking forward to filming this video and you guys can maybe buy these items after you watch this video because I highly recommend you do. Before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It will be nice to get to a like goal of 30 likes on this video. Also leave a comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get on with the video. You can probably see the under eye bags and you're probably thinking hey, get some sleep. I have been up since 4 o'clock this morning so ignore the bags. I'll try to make myself look awake by widening my eyes a bit more like this. Ooh, I look like a spooky Halloween person. Anyway, this month, as I said, I have loved so many items and I still love them now. I'm probably never going to stop loving them. First thing, if you are a makeup lover like myself and you like having new makeup brushes and stuff, I highly recommend this Peaches and Cream PC19 brush. I used to use it for bronzer, however, I have I recently discovered it is amazing for blending in your foundation with. Honestly, it, it gives your face a lovely flawless finish. I've actually used it today on my face. The only thing is the foundation brushes is, after the second time you use them in a row, they do, they can make your foundation go streaky. You could like the build up of the product in the brush. So I recommend you clean your foundation brushes after two times of using it so like it won't give a streaky look. Does that make any sense? I'm hoping it does. But yeah, Peaches and Cream brushes are really good quality and this one in PC19 highly recommend for your foundation. And in case you're wondering, the foundation I am actually using today is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 22. I've got a bit of tan on you see, so that's why... Um, I've got a bit of a dark foundation on. Anyway, speaking of makeup, eyelashes, Hitachi lashes, a TL1, I have them on today. They are very big, I am aware, but oh my god, they are amazing. I've always raved about Hitachi lashes ever since I got my first pair two or three years ago. I can never go back. This pair in TL1, honestly, it make your eyes so big and open, I'm just obsessed with them. Uh, Tati lashes can be uh, pricier compared to your standard a drugstore ones but you are paying for the quality you can get a real hair and fake hair so it's, it's completely up to you and they do retail for 9 85 however I am selling them for £8 so if you want to buy any tight lashes off me give me a message on my Instagram I'll leave it on the screen for you all and you can buy some tight lashes this is like my little one today this is like my bippity boppity boop Am I in a weird mood? Because I, f I feel as if I'm in a really weird mood. Final makeup product. Yeah, final makeup product. A Morphe lip gloss in the shade Frosé. Oh my god, are these glosses. I actually have a Morphe gloss on today, but in a darker shade compared to this. They're so glittery, but so nice and glossy as well. I love them so much. As you can tell, I am a makeup lover. I am a makeup artist, so I obviously... I like to try out the new makeup products and I do have my favourites and this one is actually in my makeup bag from everyday makeup at the moment. I, I can't get enough of it because it's so good and Morphe makeup in general is just unbelievable so 
yeah, it it is a win-win. Right, moving on to the clothing items. I ordered a few things off Sheen earlier in the month and one of them it was a jumper and now that it, the weather is starting to get a bit cooler I'm starting to wear jumpers this is the girl who is wearing a little crop top however I needed to change my outfit for this video because I, I look like a tramp before um, it's from H&M in case you're wondering it's really cute it's really nice also a have a patchy tan it's really showing in today's video so just ignore that I really need to exfoliate it off because I've had it on for three days now and if you are a girl who can relate to me you will know that a fake tan it could go patchy after a few days of having it on so I'm definitely gonna have to treat my skin to a bit of a scrub in the shower tomorrow morning and I'll be like a ghost again but it's alright I'll be able to top it up again you know anyway so speaking of sheen I ordered this a beautiful cream a cross knit a jumper this jumper is my new favorite a jumper it is a cropped one however it is stunning it is so warm it's so fashionable it's so cute you can dress it up and dress it down um, and as Scott it has actually complimented me on this jumper you know if it's a nice a piece of clothing when your boyfriend approves of it you know so yeah it's really cute I love it I've always wanted to jump like this you can also have a one side off the shoulder and this was around 13 pounds oh god the, the best 13 pounds I have ever spent in my whole entire life no word of a lie and then speaking of jumpers I literally live in this at the moment it is oh my god why is one of the sleeves out of it it is my Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt this is from TK Maxx I, I've had this for a while it probably has all sorts of makeup stains on it but I live in this at the moment it probably needs a wash because it hasn't been a wash in like a week and I've probably had this on far out of seven days at the moment so that's kind of disgusting I need to put it in the wash but Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt I have a throat going weird I have probably some of my favourite Scott actually has this in a blue colour and it really suits it it's so comfortable, it's slightly oversized, it's really nice and they're extra small and these are essential for the colder months because you can just like snuggle up into them and you're all nice and comfy you know what I'm saying? it's lovely and then another kind of clothing item I have well, it's not a clothing item, a Primark socks you either love them or hate them I'm really not keen on the seven pack ones you can get however if these work out at Chipot, the ones where there's five in a pack, they are so good. They don't really thin out as much in in the wash and they're also way more comfortable to wear. Um, and you know, 2 50 for five pairs I think is really good. These are way better than the cheaper ones you can get, in my opinion. But some people do despise Primark socks and I can't understand why because they can go they're really thin and get holes but uh, trust me you need to try these ones I really love them um, and it, they're way better as I said compared to the other ones you can get so yeah and these are in a size 2 to 5 I actually went to try out today hence why I've got a new pack here but you've got to be topped up on your socks you know then another fave of mine it is so random but scrunchies I love them so much it's way better than wearing actual hair bubble because they don't pull your hair they're so comfortable they're easy to take out of your hair they will not knot your hair or put any dints in your hair I love them I've had these for ages from Primark but you can buy them anywhere now scrunchies and they're pretty cheap these ones are they're pastel cordy colours and I love them so much and of course I had to include them in my favourites because they are so sweet I love them but now another fave of mine again I have a fake tan if you know me I like being tanned I actually have this tan on at the moment it is the doll tan in deep dark it is the ultimate 
tan. It is pumped with caviar and rose extract and it smells like heaven with notes of rose and marshmallows. I can confirm if that is correct. If this fake tan, it doesn't smell of, of the horrible the smell of fake tan, it actually does smell of marshmallows and roses. This is in deep dark, so it is in the darker shade, I think. But I think the darker tans aren't as orangey as the lighter tans. Adult Beauty, they never fail to impress. I love their eyelashes and lip liners, and this one, yeah, this thing is no exception. I love it. I don't know how much these retail for but I actually got this in a lucky dip a box and I'm so happy I've got it. I have another bottle in my drawer because I did actually get two of these but I'm not complaining. I love them so much and Doll Beauty if you're watching this honestly I love your products I will happily be added onto your PR list if you would like me to. I can always dream but you know it's no harm in asking, sir. You know, as if Dolby is going to be watching this. Who do I think I am? But yeah, yeah the packaging is really cute. A doll tan. If you've never tried it, try it. It does not smell of you know, the horrible tan smell because who else hates that smell? I actually despise it. It is disgusting. But this smells so heavenly. Another favourite of mine. It's probably really random and you probably couldn't be thinking you are a very sad adult. For including this in your favourite video but I just seem to be obsessed with towels at the moment and I do actually have this really pretty pink towel I actually have a load of these for the room in the salon Um, this towel is from Tesco I'm not being funny guys but this towel has been in the wash and it is still so soft. If you want a good quality towels, head over to Tesco. Highly recommend them. And I think the six pounds on club car price, so honestly amazing. But yeah, the towels they're probably really boring, but these ones wash so well in the wash and they are still so soft. Plus they are a gorgeous pinky colour. Honestly, I am so sad. Next up in my favourites, I do have the Beauty Bay Soothe Paste Blemish Treatment and this has salicylic acid and prebiotic. This has been a dream for my spotty skin. Whenever I have a breakout, I put this on my spots and the next day I turn it off and, the spot has, and the spot has pretty much disappeared. I love it so much. I think this is £5 from Beauty Bay. But definitely have a look on Beauty Bay or even have a look in Home Bargains for stuff like this because Home Bargains do have a wide a range of skincare and it's a paste. It's what I do is squeeze a little bit on my on my clean hands. You have to clean your hands before you, you touch spots up, I think because otherwise you're spreading bacteria to the spot and it's just going to make it worse. Clean your hands, put a little bit of of paste onto your finger and then put it onto the spot. Honestly, you'll wake up in the morning and you'll have no spots. It's unbelievable. And then final product of this favourite video, which is also a skincare product, believe it or not, it is this face fact a deep cleansing strawberry a mud mask. Oh my god, who's texting me? Face facts is a cheaper skincare brand, however, it works amazingly on my skin. It may not work on your guys' skin, but for me, I love their brand so much. I do have a few of their skincare bits, hence why I know why. It's so good. But this face mask, firstly, the packaging is so cool. All you have to do is squirt out some product and then you put the lid back on and you'll never waste any product. So it's a really good way to save on the product and the reduced waste as well secondly i put this on my face for 15 minutes and when i took it off the next day my face wasn't spotty anymore it was unbelievable i love the smell of the strawberry scent as well it smells so good and you can actually buy these from whole bargains for 99p so who's the real winner 
unbelievable. So I highly recommend having a look in there because yeah, they're really good and they're really good for a very spotty skin. I think I'm actually going to use it tonight because my skin is in need of a mask because it's just spotty as anything and I hate it at the moment. But, sorry, I'm getting distracted outside because things are happening outside. Things are happening outside. I'm just trying to think. I'm just being a bit nosy, guys, you know. But anyway, here is... The, oh, no. I do have another thing, actually. I tell a lie. Final product or item in my favourite video. I have in my Louis Vuitton, the Damia 55 key pole or keep all 55 this whole doll is unbelievable i took this to scott's house to stay there for one night honestly it, it is so spacious as a girl you usually pack a lot more items you know, like spare shoes bare everything makeup and everything this you still have plenty of space in it even when i put everything in this i got this off dh gate so if you guys haven't watched my DKH get haul, highly recommend. But yeah, it's really good because it has a padlock on it. So like, you can lock it up if you want to go on your travels. I love it so much. Um, and it's so spacious. I cannot really felt it right now because whole dolls are a very nice thing to have when you go for weekends away. And I look really bougie with my my little hold all but anyway here is the end of the favorites the video i feel as if i have been loving so many more items this month i think it's because i've just been trying out the new things and i'm getting more excited for a new birthday now and christmas if you guys would like me to do a november favorites leave a comment also leave a like and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video Bye, buddy.